welcome back to the beginning prior to my awakening. I am your host, Nature Stimulant, the Divine Empress, and I will be discussing Generational Curses, Installment 15. Today I want to learn some enlightenment on chaos that plagues one's life. Throughout most of my life, from the very beginning, it has been hard. Even into my adulthood, I always felt like there was a rain cloud over my head. Why it always seemed like no matter what I did or how hard I tried, things were just hard. If I was trying to get a job, even though most times I was highly qualified, I would be denied. The easy jobs, the good paying jobs, or even just the job I was really interested in, still denied. Although I never gave up, I suffered. A young lady out here forced to work 10 times harder than the average just to survive. Forget getting ahead, we talking about just the bare minimum to barely survive. And still finding myself still falling short. No one reached out a hand to assist me. I couldn't find help anywhere. In fact, I was the one who took on the burdens of others on top of my own. I found myself unable to tell the ones I love no, simply because I felt I was more adapt to handle going without better than they. I didn't want those I love to feel helpless. I knew how it felt. I didn't want that for them. I rather that it was me. I loved everyone around me as I expected them to love me. I was taught that way. That's how my heart was set up. Do unto others as you have them do unto you. Problem is, it seemed I was cut from a very different cloth. Blood related or not, I did not fit in. Those around me were okay taken and taken, regardless of how it left me. I did not belong. I participated in dysfunctional behavior as a way to escape and to adapt. I was a doormat and wasn't valued by those around me, although I placed myself in the line of fire for them. How could they not love me? This is where I always draw the blank. I remember times when my oldest brother and I would discuss how hard things were for us. He had experienced it just as hard, probably harder. Now I understand that a rain cloud is exactly what we had over our heads. We had been tormented by generational curses of our bloodline all of our lives. And we just didn't know why. But now I know why. As I've shared trauma brought over my life by decisions of past ancestors. I have broken a curse that those before me were unable to do so. My children, or any children born under my bloodline from this moment forward, will be free. Thank God. But the road here, I have to admit, was horrible. I had to work most jobs that women would say I was crazy for working. Male-dominated, industry-driven jobs that stripped me of my femininity. But they paid the bills. And my pride meant nothing to me when the bills were due. Most times I had people who depended on me, not children. And I was the one my family ran to when in a bind. But not only that. I was the only person I could depend on. 
I could not give up. I could not quit. Plus, honestly, being weak wasn't in my blood. If I had to shovel feces, that's just what I would do to make sure I ate. Don't get me wrong, I was miserable every moment all my adult life. Always trying to get ahead, not realizing that I was surrounded by folks basking and watching me suffer while adding to my plate. Doing black magic on me, hating me secretly. People that I love with all my heart hated me so deeply. Finally, the most high personally said enough. He was tired of seeing my tears, tired of seeing these people mistreating me. When all I've ever meant for them was good. The most high took the blinders off my eyes and showed me the intentions of everyone I love. He let me sit in on all of the awful conversations spoken about me in private. I was given a choice. Either I choose me or I choose those who really were my enemies. People I never did anything to. This sincerely broke my heart. But I had no choice but to choose me. I walked into a point of isolation where I'm surrounded by ancestors, spirit guides, and angels. A time for me to finally be given the love I deserve. They began to heal my wounds and love on me. A peace so unexplainable has been placed over my life. Finally, I find myself smiling. The biggest smile. No worries at all. I have been renewed, placed with the task of leading those that want to be led, to give spiritual guidance and a different perspective to those that want to be free and live better. I was saying as a compass, this was always meant for my life. So, as I always say, if you feel like you want to talk, to vent, or to reach a different perspective, please reach out. Because if this resonates for you, there's a reason. Healing is here. No judgment at all. Contact information can be found in the About section on the YouTube page. Mental Stimulant, the Divine Empress. Peace, love, and light.